Hi Sophia, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today. Um, we just want to say you've got to start with Wales Women. Uh, how important was that for your development? Um, massive, I think. Uh, Amy Reese has helped me uh, throughout the years. Um, yeah, from the age of eight to I think I was about 16 when I made my debut. Um, it was amazing and I think it's definitely helped me grow into the Western Storm setup. And uh, you just come back from the World Cup. Tell us a little bit about it. How was it? Um, yeah, it was amazing. Good experience on and off the pitch. Um, obviously gutting the end result, but I mean the semi-final was amazing. Um, and I think it's grown the game worldwide. So I'm very happy with how it went. Perfect. And um, talk us through your rapid rise last year from your debut all the way into winning the 100. What was that like? Um, crazy. I think I started in the academy at Western Storm and then uh, went on tour with the seniors to Desert Springs. Did well and then got my first call up for Storm and I was absolutely buzzing and then yeah two weeks before the 100 I, <laughs> I got an unexpected call um, crazy didn't expect to play and then managed to play every game and yeah when I look back at it I'm seeing the people I got out it was exceptional <laughs> um, but yeah obviously an amazing year but I've got to build on it for this year. Yeah talking about what, what are the goals moving forward now for the next years and, and beyond? Um, I think keeping to dominate uh, the regional game, especially in T20, um, and then looking to really develop my bowling in 50 over, um, and really proving that I can bat, um, whether that's in T20 or 50 overs, really looking to not just be a bowler, but to be an all-rounder, and obviously then hopefully uh, get another gig in the 100, um, and then see where things go from there. Yeah, and what's, what's the dream then? Um, to play for England, preferably. Um, yeah, um, it's always been my goal I think, since I started playing, picking up a cricket bat at age six, I think. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope to, to follow in not many people from Wales' footsteps, but um, I think it was Lynn Thomas was the, the first uh, lady to play for England, so I hope to follow in her footsteps. Perfect. And um, as you mentioned earlier, women's sports have really been on the rise recently. And how exciting for you is it to be a part of that? Yeah, amazing. I think we look back at the past few years and there wasn't many additional contracts for women. And now you can make a living out of playing cricket. It's really special. And not just in cricket, but in other sports now. There's way more opportunities for the girls. It's amazing to see the women's game growing. And yeah, I'm obviously picked a good time to be involved. And, uh, what women inspired you to go on your journey? Um, I think I have three main ones. I'd go Serena Williams because she's just like her mentality is insane. Um, and then I'd go Elise Perry, which is my, my favourite cricketer growing up. Um, I still love her now. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, just loved her batting technique. She was very technically correct. Um, and she's just a true athlete. I think she used to play two sports. So when I used to, well, I don't really play much hockey now, but when I used to play hockey and cricket, I used to think I could do both. And then um, Sophie Eccleston, when she burst into the scene, obviously was was a big role model and still is today. Um, still look up to her and still watch her ball. Yeah. I'm talking about that. You're now a huge role model yourself. Uh, how have you find that? How have you find the move into that? Um, it's crazy when I think about it. Um, yeah, stupid. Um, but I think, I guess it motivates me as well. Like I have to make sure that I'm, you know, setting the right standards, um, being a role model, um, whether, whether that be on and off the pitch. Um, but I think it motivates me to, to make sure that I raise my level and raise my level more. Finally from us, um, what does it mean to be able to show young people that the cricket's a viable career now? Like insane, I think. When I look back when I was little, I actually never had any plan B, so I was always playing cricket. But I guess before you had to have a plan B, you had to be, I don't know, thinking about going to uni and stuff. Whereas now you can sort of not, not just think about playing cricket, but you know, you can actually make a living out of it. Like, you know, you can do your studies, but you can also play cricket. You can not do studies and and play cricket and still make a, a valuable living out of it, so it's amazing, but yeah, um, it's crazy how far the game's gone. Awesome, thank you so much for your time.